Hi, I'm Mike McCormick here at the GVTA Broadcast Studio, and I'm here with Amit Patel from Lyft. Welcome. Thanks, Mike. So tell me a little bit about what Lyft is doing to approach the business travel market in these challenging times. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what we've realized over the past few years is that a lot of people are using ride sharing for their corporate travel, and a lot of companies just don't have policy around it. So the biggest thing we want to come in and do when we talk to companies is be a consultant on what they can do for their ride sharing policy, um, whether that's whether they want to allow ride sharing, uh, whether they maybe don't want to allow it. We just want to make sure they have all the information they need to make the right decision about how they can integrate Lyft in their corporate travel policy. Do you see attitudes changing over the last couple of years towards ride sharing? Yeah, 100%. I mean, this is my third GBTA I've been to. Great. The first one, it was myself and three other colleagues. Uh, this year we have about 25 people. So just by the sheer number of people we have at Lyft working on this part of the business is a clear sign that we're making a lot of progress. And just seeing all the pe partners we work with, all the progress we made, uh, it's been a real great journey, just our growth, um, growing with GBTA as well, because we've, we've done a lot of work with you guys over the past few years. Yeah, I know you had your team working uh, both at the chapter level and at the national level. It, it, what, what response are you getting? Like, what type, types of product offerings have you had to create specifically for the corporate travel market? Sure. Um, the biggest one is just creating a, a version of Lyft, a business profile version of Lyft that allows people to easily expense their work-related travel. Right. So obviously Lyft is a consumer product, but when you're traveling from work, whether you're using your personal card or your corporate card, now those receipts can be forwarded to your work email. It's easy to expense. Um, we have integrations with Concur. Uh, we just launched integrations with all the other expense providers like Expensify and Certify. So it makes it really easy for anyone, whether they work at a Fortune 500 company or a small business usually will have their expense service provider covered. Um, so those are some of the features we've built to help. I remember meeting your team uh, that first year on the floor here. Uh, any surprises in what you've had to deal with in the corporate market? Yeah, always, always a lot of surprises. <laughs> I mean, you have the common questions about competition, which we'll, we'll continue to get. Um, but it's just fascinating to, to see the, the change in interest. Like the first year people were, they acknowledged that need, they need to learn about what we're doing. But now, all the way up to this year, everyone's already in the mode that we need to figure something out. Like, we need to figure out how we can work with Lyft, how we can integrate ride sharing into our corporate travel policy. So I'd say that, for me, the biggest surprise is how quickly that adoption has happened, which is ultimately a good thing, but I just wasn't expecting the shift to happen so quickly uh, in the corporate travel space. So, you know, attitudes have changed, but you know, many of the challenges still there. You work, as you work through them year to year, um, where does it go from here? Where, where's, what's the future hold for ride sharing in the corporate marketplace? Sure, I mean, just like the first year, I think I was on a panel with a few, few of your colleagues. The biggest thing I wanted to come across is we're here to learn. Like, we don't, you guys are obviously experts in this space. You guys have been doing it for 20, 30 plus years, and we, we want to come in from the frame that we want to learn, like, what features do we need to build? What problems do we want to solve? Uh, so we'll continue to do that, certainly. Uh, continue to be a good partner to our existing customers, build the right features and products that make sense both for Lyft and, and the marketplace. Um, so yeah, we'll just continue down that path. It's hard to say where we'll be a year from now, but we're, we're definitely excited to, to see where it goes. Great. Um, you started a Ride for a Reason uh, campaign. Yeah. Talk a quick minute about that. Yeah, definitely. And we're excited to work with you guys at, at convention for Ride for a Reason. So the concept is for all the money that's spent on Lyft rides during GBTA, uh, we'll donate 1% back to the GBTA Foundation, which we're excited to partner with. Um, like I mentioned before, we've always had a great relationship with the organization, so finding different ways to, to find alignment in our mission and values uh, is always great. Like when it can actually c c come to something meaningful and, and productive, it's, it's really exciting to see. So thank you for, for allowing uh, your team to work with us on that campaign. Amit, thanks for stopping by. This is Amit Patel from Lyft, and I'm Mike McCormick here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio.